Hey folks, Tim here, FT Lot for the Love of Trains. Welcome back. Uh, today let's do a quick video on, I got some still pictures and a couple other photos of my uh, C44-9W uh, Santa Fe in an N scale model. And this was my first attempt to weather with N scale. I think I might have shown it on one of my other videos, but I wanted to kind of show you the progression of what I did and how I used the paints. Um, so let's get right to it. Okay, so one of the first things I did, um, I thought about trying to mask off the windows with tape, but uh, that's just too small in N scale. So uh, I was able to pop off the shell and pull out the uh, lighting fixtures in here and then actually pop the glass or the plastic out of the window areas here and then they would be totally removed so I wouldn't have to worry about any type of overspray or anything like that so for me it would just worked easier to pull all that out okay one of the next steps that I did also was um, on this particular engine you could remove the um, steps and the running boards and the railings and everything uh, as a separate separate deal so I was able to isolate just the just the cab area and then the actual body of this model okay I think I have a picture of uh, what it all looked like when I pulled it apart so let me show you that one right now okay then next what I did was I was able to just mix up with the paint colors I had I mixed up a well basically it uh, was a light pink color a really light faded pink um, and then I used that and dabbled on to all the areas I wanted to show that the paint was peeling so in this picture you'll see that you'll you'll see the pink areas and then everything else is still the bright red okay um, then I went ahead and took that that pink paint that I had that I put the blotches on for the peeling paint and then I mixed that in I actually faded that down even more I mixed it in with some white paint and put that in my airbrush and then I used that to overspray all of the red part to give that faded paint look um, to the rest of the cab All right, and I didn't have the actual parts to switch out, but for the air conditioner unit, I went ahead and, and uh, put in the painted it orange like it was off a heritage unit or a newer BNSF style locomotive, and then I just painted in the the grill area with some black paint. Then I uh, pretty much just reassembled the locomotive and then gave it a. a regular I put in some dull black or uh, grimy black I think it was a little bit of brown and then I dirtied the uh, vents and just showed a little road grime put a little rust down on the truck area and uh, overall just dirtied it up made it look like a old used Santa Fe locomotive okay so that being the finished locomotive um, as you can see, I, I'll try to zoom it in here and see if we can show some of these other ones before it goes out of focus, but I think the blotched paint looks pretty decent there. Um, and the windows are still nice and crisp. I don't have a snow plow yet on this one, that one's being ordered. All in all, I think it turned out pretty well. Let me throw in the, the other one so you can see the difference. Okay, cab-wise, you can see. So that's my first attempt at weathering on the N-Scale products. Uh, obviously, it's a lot smaller and you gotta be a little more careful with the parts. Uh, but it all turned out pretty well, so I'm pretty excited to start weathering up some of my other ones. And I'll probably keep this one to the left. Pretty new looking so that people can see the difference between a weathered and a new engine. 
Um, and then start working on my HO stock stock of locomotives too. I have a couple of war bonnets that I'd love to do the same thing with. So um, down the road, future videos, we'll get those going as well. But uh, hopefully that helps people. Uh, again, it wasn't a real step-to-step -step procedure. All I had was some still pictures that I took a while back when I was actually doing it. But uh, you can kind of see what the end result looks like and I'm pretty happy. So I highly suggest people to just take a stab at it and see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Until the next time.